The Lord app is a desktop application for Microsoft Windows operating systems developed in Delphi programming language used to monitor the work of Billard pools in Billard clubs. The project currently does not have support for multiple languages. It is currently in Serbian and the video will explain the terms in English. In addition to the software application, the project also contains an Internet of Things module. The Internet of Things describes physical objects or groups of such objects with sensors, processing capability, software and other technologies that connect and exchange data with other devices and systems over the Internet or other communication networks. This is achieved via a relay control device. Through this device, it is, for example, possible to turn on the lights on the large pools, as well as perform some other activities. The application can work in four modes. Work without a relay device, operation of a device with active relays in local area network, operation of the device with active sensors in local area network and work with the device with active relays. Now we will start our application. After loading the program, the following form will appear. Uh, the right button means start the new day and the left button means continue the current day. These functions are separate because of sessions. So now we will click on start the new day. And now, now we will take a look at the pools form. And here the following is visible the start, end and duration of each pool game, calculating money in convertible marks, buttons to start and end the game, pool numbers, shift mark which can be first and second, clock and a tabular display of the game number, shift, date, pool number, start time, end and duration of the game and the fee. This form can be accessed from the menu if we go to programs, pools, games, as well as from the tab here. The user indicates the shift in which he works using the navigator here. In the following, it will be explained how to manage the form pools without and with a relay control device. The different modes of operation of the application, which are listed earlier, will be considered. First mode is a mode uh, without the relay device. So now uh, an application is already ran, so now we will see our configuration file. And this is a file with network parameters. Uh, we must enter zero for the address parameter to work without a device. And Enter zero in the fifth line here. This line indicates the operating mode of the device. So zero without sensors and one with sensors. Okay, the start of a single game. So the start of a single game begins by clicking the start first game button. So here if I click the game is the game started and the start of each subsequent game is marked as start game. 
After clicking the OK, uh, the start time of the game is marked here, start game. Also, the duration is displayed every second, and as the duration changes, so does the fee here. OK. After clicking on stop the game, if I say stop, a window appears indicating the fee to charge the game. At the same time as this window appears, data on the completed game is entered in the table. So now here, it's now here. Okay. Clicking OK closes the billing window. If several pools are active at the same time, that is, several pools have started the game, it is necessary to stop the game and close the window for changing one pool, for charging one pool at a time. Uh, operation of a device with active relays. Now we won't show this in this video because we 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 must uh, disconnect our switch on the relay device. So we will skip this. It works exactly like the first mode. Now we will look at the third mode operation of the device with active sensors in local area network. Now we will close our application and again go to our configuration file. Enter the LAN IP address of the device in the first line of the configuration file. Here we say this address. And Enter the number one in the fifth line, so this now works with sensors. Everything else stays the same. We save and okay. Unlike the two previously described modes of operation, where a button is clicked in the application, switches connected to relays will now be switched on and off. The device and wait a couple of minutes of seconds sorry Okay, the device now should work. It's on, so we must press the switch because balls are, billiard balls are not, are still in a drawer. If we run our application, we don't have an error and we say start a new game. And now, if we turn off the switch, our game began here. Now look, our first game is currently opened. So, okay. And if we Again, start, uh, stop the game by clicking here. Okay, we can 
exit our application. Okay. This is our third mode and we've come to the fourth mode or work with the device with active relays in Wi-Fi. Uh, here we will enter these parameters for Wi-Fi. So N0 here. Also it must be said that uh, in order to uh, for this mode to work we also have to disconnect our switch and it this we won't do this in this video so now we will again change this to zero this to zero uh, without mode without a, rel a relay device and we will run our application In the following, it will be explained how to manage other forms in the application which are not related to the relay control device and which can work with or without it. We will run our application. Start the new day. And now the fill list form opens from the main menu. If we say program, administrator, and fill list, uh, the user can change the fee per hour using the fill list form. Options in this form are fee entry, editing enabled, confirm entry, delete an entry and refresh an entry. Clicking the close button closes the fee list form, so here. The form for the report on the playing time for the period is opened from the main menu. Reports, report for the period, here, and now if we say, for example, from this date to this, if we say print, here we have a report done in a, a fast report tool. And also it is written on in Serbian, so we won't explain this further. Uh, uh, the shift report form opens for the main menu. Uh, if we close this, shift report. Uh, report from the period and shift. Here, if we say, for example, 1st of May, and we select, and if we select the shift here, for example, first shift, then we say print. Here we have this report okay and okay if we close this and we say the form for the shift report by choosing the number of the daily report is opened from the main menu reports daily reports by shift uh, 
you select the shift by in which you want to see the report so if we select the first shift uh, to select a daily report number click the daily report number in the table here so if we say for example 7 by clicking the print button the shift report is displayed by selecting the number of daily reports that can be printed so if we say print now this is a daily report by shifts so this was a short demonstration of the project if you are interested in these types of projects Please contact me.